Guys, let's talk about a new coin, Athena or ENA on the ticker. Uh, now, this is one that was in the launch pool a while back. Uh, it looks like on April 2nd, 2024. Now, guys, if you remember, I always sell uh, these launch pool coins on the first day. Uh, it's just too risky. And uh, yeah, I mean, this one did continue higher. I do think that this coin could be a you know newcomer to the game which you know it's it's not a bad coin to pick up but guys you know i sold uh somewhere uh let's see it was up to about 91 cents i think i sold it in the 70 cent range if i can remember correctly i could go back and look but it doesn't really matter guys i sold it fairly high uh and i picked this coin up not too long ago if you guys remember i I think I said I picked up three coins in one day for about a hundred bucks, and this was one of them. I believe I picked it up around 21 cents, guys. Now, you can see it's coming up to a resistance. If I zoom in here, you will see uh, it did break out of this, you know, long-term trend on the 18th of September, and yeah, I mean, it's done pretty well since then. Uh, it has to get across 37.2 cents, basically, and and uh 51 cents you know will be your next daily resistance so after that you have a weekly resistance up here at about 71 cents and then you have another daily resistance at 79 and then you have you know a few more resistances all bunched up up here between 85 and 92 and a half cents uh kind of going to be a hard area probably to get through and uh yeah so let's let's not jump too far ahead guys um, but that's what ENA looks like at the moment. Um, but I think it's going to be a good project. So uh, anyways, let's take a quick look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin, let me enlarge this. Um, Bitcoin is actually breaking now this neckline. This is what we need, guys. Um, and it's actually trying to break the next resistance here. Now, let me move this over. And let's see. Basically, okay, this is... This is close enough, guys. I'm not going to worry about if it's exact. But the target of this breakout, uh, since it's breaking the neckline, now we have to hold this the full day. We can always get a candle that comes back down like this. Uh, but the target, if we are to hold this on the daily time frame and these longer time frames, like weekly time frames and things like this, uh, the target is up here at about 74,600. Let's just say that's roundabout number guys even 75,000 can be still okay now the big thing is we are coming up to this resistance here today if we are to deal with this resistance this yellow line it's at 65.3 now that's only what $400 away so this is a line that has kept us down if I zoom out you will see this line has kept us down for months, guys. So this is a little bit scary at this point. Uh, we got rejected, well, we made the all-time high in March. Then in April got rejected from this you know, trend line. Uh, we did get rejected in May, June, July, several times here in July. Didn't really get close or, or you know, I always say that two and a half thousand dollars is not very far for Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, we didn't really touch the line in August, but, you know, it looks like this, you know, week, maybe even today, uh, we are probably going to try to test this trend line again. Now, if we break it the first time, who knows, guys? Um, I would like to see that, uh, but you just, you never know. And I mean, like I said, guys, to break this resistance here, it took, what, five attempts? To break this resistance here, uh, we we hit this, what, three days in a row, and we're hitting it for a fourth day. This could easily come back down under this line here at uh, 64, you know, 8, basically. We could easily come back down. We're only a couple hundred bucks above it, and, uh, you know, we've, we've had a massive candle today. So uh, we've already gone almost $2,000, you know, up. But it's nice to see. Let's see if we can maintain it. Uh, but, you know, let's take this one step at a time. I would just be happy to cross, you know, this resistance here at 63.8.
and kind of have a bullish engulfing candle from the previous day because we had a bearish one, um, you know, yesterday, which was bad. So let's see, guys. Now, Bitcoin dominance, I am a little bit surprised to see that the Bitcoin dominance is actually going up uh, quite a bit, you know, but I can tell you that my my bags, you know, that I hold personally have gone up quite a bit today. So um, not sure, you know, maybe Bitcoin is gaining a little bit more towards uh, than, you know, than my altcoins, we can say. I don't know why I click that. I click that every time. But anyways, guys, let's move on to the next thing here. Uh, today, we had some economic numbers. We also had some speakers speaking today. Uh, there still is a couple more speakers today or a few more speakers, actually. I think about four speakers here in America. Uh, also, ECB, Shenevel is speaking. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, now, tomorrow we will have uh, maybe the second most important day this week. We have core PCE. Uh, we've got, you know, personal spending. We've got Michigan numbers. Uh, so, yeah, we do have one or two speakers, I think, tomorrow. Um, so anyways, keep in mind, tomorrow is very important as well. Uh, now, interest rate cuts. Yeah, again, guys, this came down, I think, 11% or so. Or uh, Actually, it says yesterday it was 57. I think I remember it at 61. It doesn't matter. Came down 50-50, guys. We're still far away from November 7th. Um, now, if we take a look at the fear and greed, it's right in the middle. It's 50. Yesterday, 59. We were in greed. Today is neutral. Uh, now, we went down mainly because we had a huge bearish engulfing candle. I do expect us to go up uh, if we do get a huge bullish engulfing candle, and especially if we break 65,000, uh, which we have done today already, uh, but we've fallen a little bit under that right now, so we'll see if we can continue the momentum a little bit later, though. Now, altcoin season has gone up from 31 to 35. Um, Still, guys, I believe we're going to see a major altcoin season here very shortly. Crypto bubbles, pretty much almost everything is in green. Um, you know, there's a few projects that are, you know, in the red. Uh, actually, today I picked up a little bit more FET. That's in the red. So, but there's not much in the red to pick up. So, anyways, guys, you know, pick up what you can and, uh, you know, be happy if it's red. <laughs> And anyways, if you want to stake your Athena, then you need to go to Coinondo. You need to type in ENA, and you have this list here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend the first three here, HTX and Gate.io. Um, now, Binance, Bybit, KuCoin, yeah, I can probably recommend, uh, but you just don't get much for KuCoin. Uh, Bitmart, I don't know much about, but Bybit, yeah, 3.54%. Um, but, you know, I'm not sure if Binance lending is, is going to work or not. I'm not sure what I'm getting, if I'm getting anything. And, and actually, I don't even know where I'm getting it. Um, I do think I have my coins in Binance with my ENA, uh, actually. So um, anyways, uh, you know, just check it out. Uh, but be sure to check out the, you know, if it's flexible, you know, the time limits and things and how much you can actually... Um, put in, you know, whenever you're staking, because uh, they do have limits sometimes, guys. So anyways, ENA looking better. Uh, like I said, I picked it up somewhere down here, I think. And uh, since then, it's done very well. So I'm happy. Uh, but to get really bullish on ENA, guys, I think we're still uh, far away from that. We're probably going to have to get up to, to about 71 cents. I think we're going to have to get above this green line and uh, move into this, you know, area up here where we were for about, well, maybe about a third of the trading time that this has been alive and on the market. So, yeah, I would say if it got up to 70 cents, I would start to get a little bit more bullish. Uh, but to get super bullish, I think we're going to have to get through this area here. Uh, this is going to be a little bit hard to get through this area because there's a lot of resistance right here in the middle. Um, anyways, if you like this video about ENA or Athena uh, and uh, Bitcoin, uh, give this a like and, uh, you know, share this with your friends, guys. I'm looking, you know, to get towards 500 subscribers here shortly. And uh, then I promised you guys maybe some live streams, uh, maybe like once a week I can do a 20 or 30 minute live stream, guys. So keep that in mind. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys.